Welcome back everyone, Toys is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today, finally, my McFarlane Toys Kickstarter Spawn Series set finally showed up. Oh my god, I was so stoked. Got the notification from Flow Ship or whatever and then it said, oh, it's gonna come the next day and then it took like three days but it, nine o'clock at night on like a Friday, it was like, hey, it just shipped. And then Saturday morning, it, uh, yeah, it showed up at my doorstep and I was like, oh my God, I opened the door and the lady's like, oh, here's your Spawn figures. We knew they were Spawn figures because it literally says Spawn and McFarlane all over the shipper box. So, you know, people know exactly what you're getting. There is no secrets from them. But yeah, this looks fancy. This is expensive. This is really, really cool to see. Three giant boxes. So I'll go over all these figures, but we'll do each one individually. We'll start off with the classic. That's the one that I was looking forward to. I like Spawn in the classic digs. You know what I mean? It's just, mm, looks good on him. But yeah, the box shows up. It's got this really nice tissue paper on there. You see the Spawn logo right as you're opening it up. This is an event. It really is. They really put some money into this. And you see exactly where all that Kickstarter dough went. Because if it would have gone the other way, where's the money for this? But you pull this little red tab right here, open the box, so it's a box within a box, within a slip case, and then you get this really nice Spawn Masterworks Certificate Authenticity, and it talks about how, you know, Todd likes to show off. He likes to go, you know what, I made all this money, and yeah, I respect him for it. You've made a ton of money. Spawn is still relevant, and people, they wanted this figure much as I did. And then you also get this little Masterworks checklist comparison thing, tells you the difference between the original 94 one and 2021. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's cool, fine. But this is where it's at. You know, they open the box and you get the, you get to see the Spawn figure right there. And he comes with all this extra stuff. Todd McFarlane kept adding things as, you know, he just like, oh yeah, we'll put this in, we'll put this in, whatever. It's cool, it's cool, you know? You get the head, you get the necroplasm effects, you get a signed little placard, a weapon, two weapons. There's a sword behind the placard, which... <laughs> Almost missed, but yeah, this this is the figure in its original kind of clamshell glory. The clamshell, you can reseal it if you want. You do get a comic book with it. It's like a special edition of the very first issue of Spawn. It says record-breaking comic on it. You know, he loves to do that. And I got no qualms with it, because yeah, why not show off? You know, you made a ton of money. Who cares, right? And all the money is in this project. You don't ever feel like, Wait a minute, you raise this much money and, and then what am I getting? No, you, you feel it, you see it. They put a lot of time and effort into this. So for that, I'm like, this is very cool. Again, it's a box within a box within a slipcase within a clamshell and you got little styrofoam pack-ins and everything else that comes with it. There's accessories for days. Each one's got accessories for days. Like this Todd McFarlane signed little placard thing right here that yeah, you could put in front of your spawn figure. I think that's actually a cool idea. It's got all that kind of Great Gatsby sort of artwork all over it. Very nice. It's light, not much to it, but for what it is, yeah, it's perfect. And I appreciate you signing like 3,000 of these things, whatever. And then you get this like really cool spawn sword. I guess they're kind of going for like the God sword or something. Or you could say like, you know, his appearance in Soul Calibur or even just Mortal Kombat, or you know what? It's just a sword for Spawn, who cares? And then you get kind of an update of the original weapon, like the nail in the chunk of ply plywood, <laughs> you know what I mean? So this kind of looks like a turkey drumstick with a giant hook coming out of it. It's got nails all over it. Could have been a little bit painted better, I'm just saying the nails and stuff, but it's a rusty hook weapon. This is my favorite, it's like a necroplasm blast. This looks cool. This, though, be very careful with it. I feel like it could break. Be careful with that. And then you get this, like, necroplasm dagger, which I go, I looked at it for a second, and I go, wait a minute. Is this the same dagger as the McFarlane Toys Batman figure? And no, it really, it kind of reminds me of it, but in looking at them side to side, it's not the same dagger. And then, of course, he comes with the screaming spawn head. And when they showed this at the Kickstarter, I was like, yes. That's what I want. That's the epitome of Spawn. It's like when he, in the first issue, he pulls off his mask. He's like, you know, what am I? So very excited. Let's get this thing open. No more talking about the packaging. Here we go. And of course, straight from Toy Fair 2020. It was on display at the McFarland booth. I was like, oh my God, what is that? That looks amazing. Can't wait. Told me all about it. Yeah, we're going to be doing 
you know, maybe Kickstarter, something like that. One year later, boom, this new Spawn, classic Spawn pops up. I love this. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. This is I'm knowing exactly what I paid for. And they delivered on all fronts. He's got extra hands. He's got weapons galore. He's got necroplasm blasts, which they kind they really haven't done before. Where, you know, in terms of like a handheld kind of thing. He's got a little tiny stand. He's got everything that we went through. A gun. I mean... You really, if you're a Spawn fan, or let's say you're getting into Spawn, or you want a Spawn figure, then, yeah, look no further. This one is kind of what I call, like, all-encompassing. You don't really need any more Spawn figures outside of this one. You got everything you need in terms of the look, the extra head, all the hands to hold all the weapons and do all the Spawn things. He's even got that magnificent cape absolutely love it and yeah look at all the weapons and such accessories that he comes with the gun it's like a i'm not gonna say gun everyone always says ah it's the wrong gun it's a it's one of those space spawn vacuum cleaner guns but it's painted nicely it's detailed it's got a saw blade on the you know the tip of it of course holds it well i'll show all of that in just a second but it's just spot him with a gun. Yeah, he does need those. The hands are actually really cool and they're painted nicely. And one thing about this figure is that with the recent spawns that have come out, like last year's 2020 spawn, the Mandarin spawn, this is the closest thing to like old school McFarlane that he's done in quite some time. The figure is hefty, it's heavy, it's painted nicely. It's like the old school figures it really is especially in terms of stacking them up to other villains and such from the spawn world which again i'll show you that in just a second the cape is not removable for me that's not a problem at all it is a little bit cumbersome when you try to kind of pose him and the other thing is is that the chains i think right here are entirely too big i think the ones around his neck would have fared better. I like some meat, like, you know, some thin chains, you know what I mean? And, and chains, some kind of chains accessory would have been fantastic as well. But let's look at Spawn. Here's the stand that he comes with. McFarlane showing off record setting action figure Spawn 94 to 2021. It's got a nice little reflectiveness to it in the Spawn name. But yeah, he is heavy. This is a heavy figure partly because of the cape, probably weighs like 20 pounds itself. In terms of updating, the old classic 94, 95 spawn from Todd Toys, McFarlane Toys, they've done a great job. I just, I think it's it's the thickness of the chain. They're, they're, they're too big, they're like the ones around his neck. I'm just all I'm gonna say. The cape itself is massive. It makes this figure massive. And it itself has articulation, which is pretty cool Given that, it, you know, translating Spawn's gorgeous red cape into plastic form and having it make sense, this is probably one of the best applications of it. In terms of articulation, he's got an interesting neck joint to him. The neck is a separate piece. You kind of get some gappage here and there. And then the head is also a separate swivel. You do get some nice range of motion out of it. It's not the best in terms of being flush with the rest of the body, but... I think it looks fine for what I want to do with it. Now, to get his arms up, yeah, the cape is going to hinder you. So that's pretty much the extent of putting his arms up. He has bicep swivel. He's got single jointed elbows, but they swivel at the elbow as well. And then in terms of the wrists and the hands, these are really nicely done hands, I think. I love, you know, it's the spawn hands. It's the classic coming I mean, straight from issue one, if you want to say that. Spawn always has really twisted, gnarled hands, you know, doing magic or doing whatever he does. Very claw-like. He does get some ab crunch. He goes back a lot more. And I don't really mind, I saw pictures, I don't really mind the diaper kind of thing. Much like the DC Multiverse Nightwing, you do get some nice rotation out of it. It's in the waist and such. The chains really don't hinder him. But yeah, the diaper thing does not bother me. I think it fits better than what it looked like when they initially showed the figure. And you do get some nice 
articulation out of the legs and see what i mean you kind of have to hold the cape and hold him and everything else he's got double jointed knees on him he does have calf rotation on both sides they're both hidden rather well i'll give it to him and he does have thigh swivel but only on this side where it's hidden within all those pouches right there so that's kind of cool i mean it doesn't bother me at all he's at least he's got rotation where it makes sense in the feet in the toes toe articulation the one thing that bugs the heck out of me is I don't like that he has like toe toes, you know? I like the more classic like, it's just the pointed toe, like Venom. That's really what I like. The cape is really cool. It goes back on one side. Mine, if it's not supposed to, fine, I'm not going to force it. But you do get this really nice sort of it envelops him. And that's what I like to see for Spawn. You know, the I would even... One day, I would love to have just the statuary kind of spawn. When you do kind of envelop him, the bottom pointed part of the cape doesn't really allow him to stand very well. So you kind of have to move him around. But for the most part, see right here, you kind of just have to keep it open. That way that piece kind of stays higher up off the ground. But it is a great way to really stand him. He's really solid in that sense. In terms of switching out the hands, pretty easy peasy. They're nicely done. You could put a weapon in the hand. That's why I recommend put the weapons in his hand. That just seems to work a whole lot better, especially when dealing with the cape. And if you want like the necro dagger kind of thing, yeah, you could just put that right in there and he holds it really nicely. Although I will say, I think out of all the accessories, it's probably the my least favorite right here typical spawn fashion pop the bottom off the necro sword or the god sword whatever you want spawn sword fine whatever you want to call it and you can hold it with both hands too which is a nice little touch i definitely dig that going all soul caliber if you really wanted to go that way same thing with the gun you can hold it with two hands you can pose him I kind of wish he had more guns, to be honest with you, but I got lots of spawns, you know, with guns. The necroplasm effect is my favorite. I love all the little electrical particles, you know, goo every which way. It would have been really nice just to say that you could kind of put his arm up higher and have it doing like a necro blast, you know, or, and we'll look at another figure that, you know, comes in the three pack where he has more of like a... a like a glowing orb kind of magical effect like from issue one like the cover think of that so yeah you can definitely do that in terms of just full-on classic just amazing is that screaming head and then of course like all the nails and the chunk of wood and the the wackadoo kind of weapon that is old school it's fantastic to see you pop the head off put the new one on and like I said, you really don't need another Spawn figure after you get this guy. He has everything that really is Spawn in that sense. And when you pair him up with the original Spawn, recreated, it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun to see having this figure so many years, right? And now they're redoing it. It's it's really cool to see all the updates. Yeah, the little flyer that came with the the box you know what i mean you can go through it go check mark check you know in that sense but just looking at it there are fantastic things about this new spawn and in looking at the old one yeah you can see how they've definitely improved when you pair him up with older mcfarland spawn figures we'll just go more for the ones i'll have mal the other mal bulger and everything in later videos but looking at let's say mal bulger too yeah these things they go together. Great. Same thing with Violator. Violator 3. Yeah, yeah. This I'll have more pictures on my Instagram, you know, fighting each other and stuff. But I'm going to give you the basic in terms of height. And if you're looking to get other spawn figures, yeah, this will go great with them. Clown. You know, you can't go wrong with Clown. Get the Pizza Clown. That's a good one. Marvel Legends. Now, for those of you thinking, okay, will my spawn, will this spawn fit? Yeah, he will fit with Marvel Legends. He looks great with Marvel Legends. Angela. I think it's a home run either way. I think that it looks great. Heck, even Jason Wynn. Yeah, you can put him. And he's taller than Jason Wynn. This is a taller type spawn than other spawn figures in my collection. And let me tell you, I got a lot of spawns in my collection. There's not even half of them. But you get the general idea. I have loved spawn since the 90s. Great 
comic, so to speak. You know, for me, in all honesty, Spawn really is the toys, the action figures. When you're a little kid and I'm collecting Spider-Man, the animated series, and you got a McFarlane figure, that was like something like, ooh, you're doing something wrong. Or, the, you know, it's a skeleton zombie guy deals with demons and God and all that kind of stuff. Like, am, are, should we play? It's, it was kind of sort of adults you know you're a little kid you're like oh i'm doing i'm getting away with something especially going to blockbuster video and renting the i didn't have hbo i had to rent the vhs of the cartoon you know and the i'll, I'll tell a story another day but the guy at the thing he's like oh you're not old enough i had to get my mom and it was all embarrassing thing you know what i mean but those are the memories of spawn that i have including all the ones from grabbing these old toys and now having them and seeing this Kickstarter stacked up to it. I love this thing. I think it's fantastic. Do I recommend it? Heck yeah, if you got the Kickstarter, I think you're gonna have a fantastic time. I'm telling you, do not pay after, if you missed it, no, do not pay after market. If you missed it, no worries. They're gonna have other spawn figures later. Do not pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars that I've seen these things for. And, you know, people asking me, are you going to sell the other one? I'm like, no, 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 these, these go in my collect. These are, this is what I want. This is what I've wanted for years. We had the color tops and now we got this new spawn figure, the weapons, the extra heads, everything else. It's a knockout for me. Yeah. There's things about it. The cape is cumbersome. Yeah. Some of the articulation, I wish I could get his arms up a little bit higher and yeah, maybe the chains, they could have been a little bit smaller here or there, some extra things, what have you. Going forward, know what you pay for, for Kickstarters. Know what you're getting into and read every little detail because what you pay for is exactly what you got. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this Spawn figure. Do you have them? I know some people still haven't gotten them. I got mine, you know, just recently. A lot of people. Oh my God, I got this Spawn. Have you got it? I'm like dying over here. No, but guess what? If you, if you haven't gotten it yet, don't fret. I'm sure it's on the way. They keep shipping them in batches. So you will get yours eventually. And if not, you know, the way the world is right now, the ships that are that are blocking the Suez Canal. No, your spawn figures are all, they're all here. They're all delivered. They're just waiting to be shipped out. It's, it's just the way the world is right now. But keep vigilant. It's on the way. And again, I'm curious to know what you guys think about spawn. Do you have spawn figures? Which is your favorite one? Is this your favorite one? I'm gonna go as far to say I got a lot of spawn figures. This is this is up there. This is a fantastically fun. I love the little Todd McFarlane placard. You could put it in the glass case, a display case, whatever you got. Man oh man. And I'll have looks at the other figures. The artist proof, and of course the more you call it, like modern costume where he ditches the red, which again, I like the red and everything else. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to spawn, you can never have enough. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.